I think the basis of effective intercultural development is really something that needs to, to be thought through as you plan and, and work through strategy of how you may one day be involved in this area where you're going to have the opportunity to be in another culture and to work and and how would you want to be effective in that and in, in developing yourself to work interculturally is really an understanding of the manner in which people develop their racial and or their ethnic identity. So once again, it's a really it's a good opportunity to have an understanding of the manner in which people develop their racial and or ethnic identity. In particular, intercultural development is understanding how people from another culture develop their ability to understand and interact more effectively with people different from themselves. Your your host culture where you're going into, they have a certain way they work with outsiders. You're going to have to adapt and to be, be able to assimilate into their culture in a way that you can identify and work within that structure so that you can, can best communicate and, and be effective in your work. So really, once again, it's understanding of the manner in which people develop their racial and or ethnic identity. How is it? Is it through group? Is it through individual? Is it by gender? Is it by age, you know cohort, like age groups? Is it, was it stratified that way by young men, old men? Are, are older men considered not as important? Kind of been there, done that, the old dog doesn't know much, or is, or is an older person esteemed and looked at as a wise person? So, you know, you really got to think through some of these things as we, from those of us from the West, go work in some of these other cultures around the world. And so really understanding the role of women and the role of, of kids and different systems of the hierarchy of how the culture they view their identities as they as they grow into d and go through the different uh, stages of life. Uh, I know in, when we worked in in the culture that we worked with, they actually had a term for when a man became a distinguished b individual. It was around the time that he was in his mid to late forties, and it was a specific term. He wasn't just a man anymore. He was called behetema, which was one of the more esteemed people. Kind of a term of not just salutation like Mr. or Sir, but really it had its own classification as, as an identity. Understanding how cultures put that together and do that it can be very effective in your intercultural development.